Gardner Engineering Incorporated is a full-service general contractor. Since 1992, when the company was founded by Bill and Tim Fountain, Gardner has built bridges, repaired dams, and constructed industrial and commercial buildings. Gardner Engineering installs machinery, does specialized erection, and general industrial construction. A large part of our business is erection and construction services for amusement parks. The company has successfully installed rides from all the major manufacturers, including Intamin, Vacoma, and SNS Sports. The following video chronicles the relocation of a Vacoma boomerang from Louisville, Kentucky to Six Flags, New England. Prior to starting disassembly, a survey of the ride is completed using written notes, photographs, and video as a record of current conditions. An inventory of all existing components is taken with special attention to any part of the ride that may be worn or damaged prior to beginning disassembly. The disassembly phase of this project required careful planning and scheduling. There was minimal area allocated for placement of cranes and limited staging area surrounding the site. Careful consideration was given to the weight of each component being removed. Cranes utilized during disassembly were a Liebherr 200-ton hydraulic boom and a 50-ton grove. As the components were disassembled, each connection was carefully matchmarked to ensure that the ride could be assembled properly at the new site. Gardner Engineering arranged for the transportation and loaded the components on the trucks. We supervised the truckers in securing the loads to ensure that no damage occurred during the trip. The components were unloaded and stored at Six Flags New England in Agawam, Massachusetts. While the ride was stored, it was cleaned and painted. Evaluated by the maintenance staff at Six Flags, any worn or damaged parts were repaired or replaced. Erection began on February 28th of 2000 using a 125-ton cable crane, a 75-ton hydraulic crane, and several boom lifts. Moving carefully to ensure their own safety and the safety of others working in the immediate area, our crews worked seven days a week, 12 hours per day, to ensure that the erection was completed on time and on budget. As the Gardner crews completed each phase of the erection, the painting contractor followed behind, putting on the final coat of paint.
The erection crew meets briefly at the beginning of each workday with the crane operators, the ground crew, and any other contractors in the area so that everyone is aware of what will take place each day. The last component was installed on April 5th of 2000. Once the actual ride installation was complete, Gardner erected the redesigned station house. We then poured and placed the concrete for the queue lines and exit ramps, fabricating and installing all the stair rails, decorative fencing, and queue line guides. While the work was ongoing, our technicians worked with the factory representatives from Vacoma and Six Flags to install the new controls and braking system. On April 17th, Gardner employees were the first people to test the ride. On April 23rd, the attraction opened to the general public. This summer, it has been one of the most popular attractions at Six Flags New England. Hi, I'm Bill Fountain of Gardner Engineering. We're at the University of Massachusetts where we're doing extensive renovations to the Fine Arts Center. We hope the video you've just seen provides you with more information about our company than you could get from a letter or a brochure. At Gardner, we take a lot of pride in our work ethic, professionalism, and commitment to the success of our customers. Our goal is always to complete your project on time, within budget, and with minimum disruption to your daily operations. Give us the opportunity to submit a proposal for your next project. We'd like to add your part to our list of satisfied customers. Thank you for watching.